Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Dad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, Bob, once again in our opinion. Well, I took a week off, Brad, a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling better, not 100%, yeah. but I'm probably 95. Yeah, well, so. yeah, you look the same, Bob. <laughs> Which Nothing to look at. Nothing. All right. I'm just kidding. So, could some of your your back pain be the result of fascia? So, fascia is that tif, tough, fibrous material that's in your back. We're going to show a dem demonstration on the board, the smart board. Yeah, so you can see it's it's all over your body. It kind of encapsulates the muscles. It's uh, it's a wonderful. Uh, but tissue. the thing is, it's it's populated, densely populated with pain receptors sure so it could be the source of your pain or one of the sources of pain in your back so we're mm -hmm. going to show you some of the things you could try mm -hmm. uh, if you suspect it is fascia uh, i'm going to say that generally the pain is uh spread out more diffuse is that the if, proper diffuse, word diffuse maybe i don't want to so, i'd have to google it all right and also if you have like a lack of motion yeah. like you bend forward and you don't turn one way or the other, okay. which could be a joint. You just go straight forward like this, and you don't have any motion. You can't get down. It could be partly fascia. Sure. You know, if you don't feel your hamstrings living right. in it, it's across that back. Yeah, there's a lot of fascia going across the back. So we just wanted to show you a diagram of the fascia in your back. Um, this is somewhat of a, a good representation, but the white stuff represents the fascia the fascia does go up into the muscles e everywhere right but it's, it's uh thinner but so again as they already have a round circle around it it actually has a lot of pain uh sense of fibers so if that fascia is bound down because mm -hmm. we mentioned it has two layers and it's not gliding on each other sure it can cause you a lot of pain and be a result I mean, as a result, as a result, that's where your pain is coming from, not right. the muscle. Right. And then you lose mobility and flexibility with that. So you right. get the motion back, you break the fascia up, get things sliding, uh, you know, all over in the muscles that connect muscle to muscle, fascia to fascia, and uh, life becomes much better. Yeah, be happy. So the first thing I would recommend is actually to put some heat on it. And Brad? Heat. You, yeah, you just had an uh, episode here. For, yeah, as a matter of fact, this? this morning, well, last night and this morning, I was using a hot pack for my back pain, which I think, uh, you know, was from shoveling a bunch of heavy snow Saturday morning. How many inches? I don't know. We had about four, but it was heavy. It was kind of oh, wet. Four. And then my wife drove the car over. Oh, yeah. That's so it packed big, it down. It was mistake. like big two mistake. inches of, and the snow bore was not having it. So, so I had tell to, us what you had for pain. Well, it hurt, Bob. Up here? Uh, left side by the shoulder blade. Actually, it was one of those back pains when you breathe in. <gasps> oh, it would hurt. And then uh, this and that, you rotate a little bit, it would hurt it. You know, I, I don't think it was. The rib cage, maybe. I, yeah, I don't think it was really fascia related. Uh, but I tried so many things, and uh, actually, the hot pad seemed to take care of it last night. I was grateful. This is just not a hot pad, though. No. This is a Thermotex heating pad which is actually uh far infrared so it actually instead of penetrates skin deep right which normal hot packs or hot pads do this one actually will go 2.36 inches exactly it's radiant heat right which is what comes from the sun and that's why the snow melts i was thinking about that there that's why the sun is making that snow melt it's from the it's 30 degrees out 25 degrees and it's still melting it's the radiant heat. That way, that's why we recommend using this for fascia because mm -hmm. some of the fascia is very deep. Yep. There's two layers, and we want to get to both layers, so we recommend trying that. Yep. Next thing, uh, we're going to rec recommend Dr. Schleip, who we had on our podcast, mm -hmm. his book, Fascial Fitness, and we're going to show you some of the exercises from there that he recommends for back pain. He's been studying fascia for decades. Decades, yeah. yeah. He is an expert so, worldwide. Um, the first one is going to be foam rolling. Oh, yes. We're going to sh and we're going to use it for the mid-back. Yep. And then the low back, sure. we're actually going to do it a little bit differently. Yes. Up against the wall. 
You want me to do it now? Yeah, watch. Well, all right. Now, man. Okay, watch here we go. go. Work. So we got the foam roller. You don't need the three foot one for this. You could use a shorter one. Uh, but I like the long one because it, it's more versatile for other things too. But you'll you'll get down. And again, we're not doing it on the lumbar spine by the belt. We're going between the shoulder blades. And, oh, I just had some nice cavitation. That's not fascia cavitating. That's in the, the joints. But oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yes. So you can just roll back and forth. And does he have some recommended uh, uh, variation? Oh, uh, just arms over. Yeah. yeah, just like that. I did a, a video, Mike and I did one last week, and it was from a fascia expert that I did a continued it on. And she, you know, she recommended to do some rolling. Oh, sure. Rotation along with this just I to kind of get idea. in there and work on that. Uh, and also, you know, she would su obviously suggested this too. I'm sure she's very familiar with Dr. Schleip. Oh, my, yeah. that's good. See, down in that all low right. back, it's now, still fun. Now, we do not recommend that you take their foam roller all the way into the low back. Yeah, that's why I was grunting. You're going to jam the facets together, and it's not going to be comfortable. Mm. So we recommend, and I talked to Dr. Schleip about, about this, and he said you go up against the wall, and that way you can take some of the pressure off, and you still can foam roll that low back. Yep. Yeah, this is much more comfortable than down there in this low back. I saw you kind of, you ask him that. I don't think you knew if he knew what he, what, what he was going to say on that No, that's interview. right. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Bob was trying to catch Dr. Slate, but he was ready. No, he's, 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 he's got sharp. it all figured out. So next one is actually, he actually, you can reach for stairs or something low, and you're going to bend forward like this and arch the back. Now, we normally wouldn't have you do this with a disc problem or anything like that. But while you're down here, the fascia runs all the way down through your body into the legs. And he actually has you straighten one leg and then straighten the other leg like this. So if you look at like his T-shirt actually in the clothing being fascia, you can see when he bends over, things tighten up. It's getting stretched in the and back I'm of the legs. like at the yep. same time. Back and forth. I think that's a pretty good analogy. Is because now it's all wrinkled when you're standing up. It stretches when you bend. Yeah. There you go. Next one. You can actually do this one in your chair. Africa bends. They called it. Yeah. We don't know I'm why. Sure. We'll have to do Legs some research. Legs far apart. On that. Yep. And you're gonna reach down and you're gonna kind of bounce up. Again, this is a very pliable, uh, very bouncy material. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to get some of that bounce back. So if, the, if there's two layers of fascia and they get stuck and they're bound, that can be the painful. Once we get them to slide right. over each other the way it should as a healthy tissue, then you're, uh, you're right. on a, a right one. road. Well, next one. Ooh, Af yeah. We do the Africa now the flying sword. Sword. Who makes up sword. these? Is this I, Dr. Schleip? Uh, yeah, apparently so. Uh, we're going to have to so get them back So you take a lightweight and you bring it up and you bring it down. Up and down. Well, it's kind of like a kettlebell. Yeah, but you're really thing. going, you don't take a kettlebell up over the head. Well, I don't know. I might be, I'm kind of concerned about, you know, you, what if you hit yourself in the kneecap if you're kind of getting crazy? I'm more worried about some, hitting some else. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. The final one is actually you take a, a tennis balls and yep. put them in a the sock. So we've got two tennis balls in there. You can see them right there. And if you want to show on me, Brad, where, yep. why you have two in and where it's going to go. So if you look at the center of the spine, I can feel his bones. We've got the muscles here. We're going to bridge that spinous process. Uh, and we can work all the way down. Yep, and do that. But obviously, we're not going to do it standing. Uh, right. We're going to do it lying down. Now, I'm going to do it on here. Brad, would you mind putting this in place? Oh, Yes. Mm. So, See, look at that. I'm lifting properly. Yeah, you're going to put the feet up like this. There you go. And you're going to put the balls in place. And, right in the lumbar area. Yep, yep. And you're going to stretch all the way along the lumbar area. Now, this is fairly comfortable because uh, this mat gives way. Yeah, it's but too it, soft. But if the floor was hard, right. which it is, you could work your way all the way up the spine. Mm-hmm. Just for, you know, 10, 15 seconds on each spot, then work your way up. And this works out nice, Brad, because you can, you know, brace yourself mm -hmm. and, and lift your butt up and get out of the way. So, you know, this you could use as a piece of furniture, you know, a chair, uh, whatever you have. Ottoman. Ottoman, yes, in your household. You don't, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it up on your bed, as we mentioned. Too soft. 
All right. Probably, uh, well, you, you might need a little help with this, this next one, Brad. You actually could take some massage guns. And I oh. I asked Dr. Slife about this. You did. I'm and curious. I didn't know what he was going to say. Right. And he, he I go, what do you think of massage guns? He goes, at first, I didn't think much of them. Yeah. He goes, now I love them. He goes, they seem to work just perfect for working with uh, the fascia. Oh, really? So, yep. Yeah. What do you? So basically, well, which one do you want? I'll take this one. <laughs> Bob, there's a certain way you pull those. Yeah, I know, I, I know. I didn't go through that with you. So again, it could be a little bit difficult for you to do it to yourself. Oh yeah. This is where it would be nice to have a partner. I was thinking if we had three people, we could go in a circle. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, you could have a little massage party, but you know, <laughs> if you could. Get in if you got the round ball. I thought I'm using the wrong round ball head. Sure. Now, are you saying to go straight in at it or at an angle or what? I think you could do either Ooh. way, Brad. This is nice, Bob. I'm but happy. This is an airhead, Ooh. so obviously easy on the the skin and on yeah, don't the spine. Call anybody an airhead, but <laughs> we're specifically talking but about again, the again, Brad. If you come here, I, I obviously I could work the muscles a lot easier than. You could yourself. Yeah. I could have you lie down flat sure. on, your, on your stomach, and we could really hit that. Go go to it. This really isn't too bad on the low back. I feel pretty comfortable, but this upper back is a, yeah, that's a tough. tough one. Yeah. All right. And the final thing he recommends is a walking program, like we all do with any back pain. Yeah. And make sure your arms are swinging. Right. That should, right. You know, I like that part of his video or the, the uh, conversation. He said, you know, if you maintain your activity in general, you don't need to do so much time stretching the right, fascia. Yeah, so right. just, you know, be an active person, uh, do what you need to do and do a little extra. But you know? again, I, I have some, uh, someone in my neighborhood that has back pain and mm. I see him walking and he walks like this. Stiff. He walks like a robot. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking... I should sit him down and go. <laughs> These are the things you should get try. Your yeah, get your elbows moving. Yeah, get your elbows moving. So, all right. This is something you can consider and try, and let us know in the comments how it works out for you. Great. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. And have be careful. <laughs>